What's up golfers out there? Adam here, coming at you with another video again. And uh, yesterday, uh, when I posted my video, or in that video I said that I would make two this weekend because I didn't make one and I didn't post one last weekend. So this is the second video. And um, yeah, yesterday I was, I was fortunate enough to go to a demo day. Wilson was there and I got to hit their... Uh, their new stuff, their FG Tour M3 series, which I've been um, anticipating for a long time, been excited about it for a long time, I finally got to hit it, and uh, I'm going to go over some of that stuff with you today. Um, here you can see, this is the FG Tour M3 Iron, uh, the C100, and then the D100. It's their new series of, um, of product that they're going to be coming out with. So I got this little booklet just to kind of go over with you, uh, with you guys, what I thought of their product and show you what I got to hit. So basically, how they divvy stuff up is distance, control, and feel. The distance put is basically your your game improvement type, our super game improvement type iron. Um, your C100 is going to be your game improvement. And then your FGA Tour M3, V2, and FG Tour 100 are going to be your uh, players type irons. The uh, the 100's a blade, and then the M3 and the V2 are, are both cavity backs. As well as the driver, the 3 and the hybrid, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, here's just basically taking you through the, the, the their new fit system. Uh, in the driver, you get uh, three different weights in it, a 7 gram an 11 gram and a 3 gram. I hit it with, I hit the, the driver with the 7 and the 11 gram. Um, this, the 11 gram weight, it's only four difference and, and you may not think it, it makes a whole big difference, but it does. It, it makes it drastically heavier. And I was kind of surprised that it made it that much heavier. But, you, you know, well, you... I, that was just my personal opinion. You, you can try it for yourself. But, uh, yeah, everything comes set, and you can adjust the um, loft of each club a certain couple degrees. So we'll start with the driver because that's the first page. The, M the uh, FG Tour M3 driver. Um, it, in a 9.5, you can adjust it from 8 from 9.5 to 8.5 to 9 to 10.5 to 11 and to 11.5. I know it's kind of blurry, sorry, but um, again, comes with the three different weights and you get a two two different shafts that you can you can uh, try and they offer um, two different shafts. One's the Odilla Rip Phenom 50. And the other is the Rip Phenom NL60, which is the one that I hit. Uh, I hit it in a the 60 gram shaft with a 10.5 loft and a 9.5 loft, and uh, it was it was nasty. It was so it felt good coming off the face. It looked good. Um, the shaft was nice. Um, wasn't too whippy. Wasn't too stiff. It was it was perfect I, i'm a really big fan of the the rip phenom series and all the law as a whole in 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 a company all together but uh definitely this it jumped to the top of um what could be going in the bag next year for sure um uh if you guys don't know i am looking for irons and i am looking for a new driver so this this jumped to the top of the driver list to possibly go in the bag next year um Next, we'll go on to the three wood right here. Again, called the M3. This one comes with the 65 gram Rip Phenom shaft, and um, again, if you get a, you can get a 13 and a half degree three wood, a 15 degree three wood, or a 17 degree, which would be basically a five wood. But you can again change it to a degree less to a 12 five, a 13. Or you could go up to a 14.5, a 15, and a 15.5. And you can see it with the rest there. You know, you can change it basically a degree down and two degrees up in loft. And uh, this is the same way, and the hybrid is the same way. Um, but, yeah, I, I hit this a little bit, 
But again, I don't need a three wood. I have the D100 in my bag, so I don't. I wasn't really interested in the three wood this year. But um, onto the hybrid, the M3. Again, called the M3. It's got a, a Rip Phenom 85 gram shaft in it. Uh, I hit this a lot, and I don't know if you guys could tell from that that picture, but it looks a lot like the Idea Pro. And uh, according to their the rep that was there yesterday, the guy who designed the A Pro for Adams a few years ago is the same guy that um, designed this hybrid for for Wilson. And it's um it's it's a monster. We'll just uh, we'll put it at that. And it's it's a fantastic club. It just jumps off the club face, and uh, yeah, it has a good feel. Again, a good shaft. I love the the Rip Phenom series. Uh, like I said before, and uh, yeah, not a whole lot I can I can say more about it, but uh, it comes in a 17, a 19, a 21, and a 23, and again, um, you can go one degree down and two up in the uh, in the hybrids. So yeah, uh, on to the irons. This is this is what I was looking at more or less in in detail yesterday is the irons i um i need irons this year so um these have been on my list for a few years i've been hitting them up and down for a few years i'm just starting to get more in um in depth with them with uh you know shafts and ball flight and all that kind of stuff and then this is their new one just came out uh very similar a little bit more forgiveness um and it has the the black finish but uh, for the V2s, they come with the KBS tour shaft, and uh, there's your lofts. If you're if you're curious to what the lofts are, um, pretty you know basically standard. Um, I uh, I was actually fit when I got fit in my couple videos ago. I talked about it, but uh, I uh, was fit for two degrees flat. I got on a live board yesterday, and I actually am in standard now with uh, swing changes and stuff. So which is good, but uh, the M3, uh, as you can see, it's a black PVD finish. It comes with a dynamic gold XP steel shaft or a Phenom 95 graphite shaft, and uh, there you see the, the lofts again, pretty standard for a player's club. Um, I did like the M3, I just, I'm not a fan of the, of the finish for an iron, so um that's basically number two on my list right now and and um that's gonna that's number one on my list right now along with the yeah that's pretty much it that's the only two irons i've hit other i've hit the titleist stuff and the, the callaway stuff but nothing really compares to to this stuff in my opinion i like i like this stuff a whole lot better and if you're if you're into a player's irons for sure check out uh check out wilson staff but uh, there's some stuff for the uh, game improvement stuff. If you want me to talk about that and go over that in a video or two, I can do that. Just, you know, send me a message. There is, uh, there's the wedges. I play the traction controls in the 56 and the 60. Um, I'm looking probably get maybe a 52 this year. I have an, an older model of the FG Tour 52 degree, so might upgrade that as well. And then this new ball they're coming out with really excited to see to to use that i play the uh fg tour x's as i talked about in my last video right there yeah. had that handy so um yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh to being able to test that out and to play that and um yeah something else that i thought was cool with this uh little brochure that i got is they uh they put their some of their history on there starting from their irons that they came out with in 1954 to the to the stuff that they're coming out in in 2014 and um you know basically this is the iron that i play right now uh the ci9 as you can see it's a playable mid-side iron for all players um my dad plays these um uh, the, the ci 11s and uh yeah this that's that's basically what i'm looking for uh that's top on my list right now um, I'm hoping to be able to try to hit it with a couple different shafts in the next few demo days, but, um, we'll see, but, yeah, so, if you guys are 
if any of you guys are interested in getting irons this year, or or a driver, or a three wood, or a hybrid, or you know anything basically wedges, um, irons, anything, definitely don't look over Wilson staff because um, you guys might not think that they're they're a good company, but I I've been playing their stuff for three or four years now, and I I don't want to take it out of the bag. I really don't. There's I don't think there's a there's a better iron on the market. And and to be honest, after hitting their driver and their hybrid yesterday, I don't think there's a better driver or a better hybrid on the market. Um, you know, you could say whatever you want about Taylor Made being the number one driver on tour or, or or Nike or you know whatever you want, but um, until until you hit the Wilson M3, uh, I don't think there's that you can say. You know, you can say stuff like that because yeah, I've I've hit just about everything, and there's nothing that I want to bag more than the FG Tour M3 right now. Um, but we're gonna wrap this video up, guys. So um, if you enjoyed the video and uh, want me to talk about more of the game improvement stuff, um, comment below. If you want me to talk about any other companies, uh, I've hit most of everything that's out right now and that's coming out in the near future. You can uh, post a comment on that, and I can talk about that a little bit in uh, in depth, like I did for for the Wilson stuff. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, see you later. Bye.